general chat, Ian, today, another episode of Cribs. Mm -hmm. We're busting in on Joel's house. Yeah. Uh, breaking in his window. Yeah, I'm behind the camera today again. That's cool. All right, I don't know if the man is home, but... Who cares? Oh, Just get, let yourself in. Man. Well, hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> been... What are we doing here? Uh, it's been a little general chat. So yeah. Answering some questions. Nice. Making a drink there. Just in Manhattan. <laughs> Manhattan, that sounds good. You know how I roll on a Monday morning? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Wednesday, isn't it? In the hat. Oh, it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> Time means nothing on the internet. Nope. Uh, I'm going to seed this episode of Cribs to you if you want to uh, give, give everybody a, a tour. I would like nothing more, my friend. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, absolutely. To we the should. living room. Okay. This is where I this live. This weird. Television. Uh, this is your living room. So, this big TV, 3D Spicy. glasses, and yeah, no, these are you know all of Ooh. the. I like to say that all the original art in the house I did uh, in this area of the house. Really? Uh, yeah, I was actually a fine arts major as an undergraduate, and so. Um, Joel, that's a furry. No. <laughs> Joel. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> I'm a guest. Simply a guest. I am. <laughs> It's not a furry, it's a werewolf. These are, this is my Halloween. No, Joel, it's a furry. This is my Halloween set. You I lose. haven't replaced my Halloween set since Halloween. This is where I live. Um, I sleep. Uh, I um, have a full giant television for uh, computer. It's definitely a television. Ooh, television. that's fun stuff. There's yeah, yeah. my Deathy, all of my Tim Burton action figures, my Mad Ma I still subscribe to Mad Magazine to this day. Look at all my issues of Mad down here that I've gotten since I've lived in LA. Jesus. They're all my Mads. So uh, this is the kitchen. Come on in. Steve um, McQueen. Mm. Well, we actually had a guest this week. This is my Sylvia Plath stove. Um, all you fans of mid-century uh, American literature, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody. Um, you know, just you got uh, got my fridge, fresh veggies. Obama. Obama. Hey, open the fridge. Yeah, that's right. What's that's in the right. fridge? I'm not a fridge. Is there dead people in there? Um, like heads? dead cows in there and shit. Oh. Yeah. Um, fresh fruits and veggies. Um, veggies. And... There's some chicken tikka masala for all you Indian fans. Yeah, me. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> question right. time, question time. Everybody loves that question time. Uh, we've got the uh, blackboard here, some uh, some viewer questions. That's right. Uh, here in the dark parlor. Playing a little yeah, yeah we, we, we'll play a little game afterwards, after we're nice and uh, toasted. But mm -hmm. first, videos. do you want to talk about videos this week? Mm -hmm. Videos. What do we want to see this week? Ian, Hundar? Ooh, uh, you go. All right, well, this is sort of you too, because we were talking about champions going free to play this week. It is. Are we going to see some videos for that, possibly? I sure hope so. We don't have any Champions Online videos right now on the network, so yeah. it'd be really cool if we get some. And as always, if you are submitting videos with a specific game, use that use that video game title in the keywords uh, of the email so I can search it. Yeah, Joel has a lot to go through every week, so make it easy for him. You know, he'll know what he's looking for. If you yeah. label it as such, better chances of getting it up on the channel. So. For me, I want to see some... It's This isn't an MMO. It's a straight-up uh, computer... RPG. I want to see some Two Worlds 2, which is mm -hmm. coming out, uh, came out Tuesday, mm -hmm. and uh, it looks a lot better than Two Worlds 1. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've been tracking the development on this, but it looks really cool, um, and we don't, I don't, I'd be a very little uh, offline RPG action, and so I'd like to see some That's of true. that. So guys, fire up the fraps, get some Two Worlds 2, and uh, get it into me. So let's uh, start with questions. We got one from Chrissy, probably? All right, starting off with Chrissy, uh, I believe her question was... What was your favorite part of the leveling experience in Kata? Chrissy, if that wasn't your question, forgive me, but I'm pretty sure that's what I remember reading on Twitter. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, Joel, what do you think? Um, I love Oldham. Um, well, I'm a huge Egypt nerd. Uh, in addition, as you already know, because this is my Cribs episode, I was a fine arts major. I was also an art history uh, and archaeology major at school. And so I actually love Egypt. I've got Egypt stuff all over my house. This is a giant inflatable mummy. I got a mummy here. I got shit in my room. Furry still. So I love Oldham. Like I love the Egyptian gods. I love uh, the mythology. I think it's awesome. I was a sucker for Hygel with the ancients. I thought that was great. Yeah. I mean, Deep Home is, is a gorgeous, like totally, you know. Deep Home was cool, yeah. Let's see, you know, I like this. I guess Hygel. I mean, from a lore perspective, Hygel nobody was seems great. to like Twilight Highlands. Yeah, since the end. I like the Dragon Maw yeah. stuff. But as a as a zone, I just like and I played it Alliance side and Alliance side it was really like fucking just like a total like it's like oh unite the dwarf clans and help them plan a wedding and it was kind of fun but it's like help compared them plan to plan a wedding right compared to Ice Crown which where is, you're like oh shit I'm an Ice Crown and this is why Horde always trumps Alliance 
Look, I really enjoyed uh, Deep Home. It was pretty fun. The charting, all the like, well, even Hydro had the really fun where you kill Ragnaros. But all the cinematic stuff is really cool yeah. for all the living experience. Yeah, that's true. So Louis' question, let me pull. It's uh, about Rift, I believe, telephone. isn't it? Are uh, we going to feature Rift gameplay videos? Yeah. We have been on Realm. First of all, yes, we have. Uh, Zilla's been doing some Rift stuff. The beta. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, and um, there's a couple others too. I can't remember off the top of my head, but. You know, I, I, here's what I will guarantee on Thursday, the day after this airs, I'll put a Rift video up uh, featured on the main site for you guys. Yeah. And we've got some stuff, like, we're going to blow the fucking roof off a of Rift, basically. We're yeah. going to have, like, uh, first tens on it. We're going to have some, we'll get into the lore of Rift. There's a lot coming your way. So if you guys like Rift, there's a lot heading your way. Rift is going to be pretty months. awesome, yeah. I'm pretty excited about, like, the full release of the game, not just the beta. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next question. So, Tareen Jones. Uh, yeah. Tareen Jones asks, if you could make an MMO out of any property, tabletop, movie, TV show, which would you choose and why? This is a great question. That's a good question. I like I this really a lot. Like it. <laughs> if, if you had asked me like five, six years ago, I would have said Star Wars, but that's been covered now. Boom. Um, For sure. Now, I've got two answers. So, I'll say one and you say one. And then I'll come back to me. Okay. Okay. My first one is um, a Game of Thrones. I think would be an awesome MMO. I know they're making an HBO series out of it, but it would be like very little uh, magic fantasy, but like swords, shifting alliances. There wouldn't be like sides really, so you could mold yourself to choose any like dynastic family to, to join. I think it'd be really fun. That sounds pretty sick. Um, I would choose BPRD, if you guys are Hellboy fans, uh, BPRD <laughs> is the Paranormal, Bureau of the Paranormal Defense Research. Um, I think it'd be cool, kind of like what Secret Worlds is doing with the Cthulhu mytholo yeah. but, mythology, but it's like, uh, you know, based on BPRD, maybe choose a new member. Would you play as an agent or would you play as like a, a creature? You would play as, a, as an agent, I uh -huh. think. You create an, an agent, maybe you've got powers, you go out to the world seeking out creatures, missions. I mm -hmm. mean, it, it sort of lends itself to that and then maybe sort of a larger undertones of like the, the, the deeper Hellboy story. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay, me? I want Pokemon. I want Pokemon online. How, how come that hasn't been done yet? Like <laughs> Nintendo, what is wrong with you? It just seems like... <laughs> I, I know you guys may think it's silly, but it would be really fun to actually run around and be like, is is and actually do an MMO and with that with that whole. Universe. I, I I agree. I think it'd be super popular. I would not yeah. want to play it. I don't, I, I I don't may like not play it either, but I'm not sure why they haven't done it yet. So Pokemon Snap. As an no, MMO. that's different. That does not <laughs> count at all. That's not the same thing. I'm just I'm, kidding. I'm just okay. kidding. Okay. I'm getting a hard time. What was your what was your oh, last uh, one? So mine is sort of in the vein of uh, B P R D. Which is uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, mm. and you could choose Ooh. from like literary stock yes. characters and play like in different time, like because in in the series you've got sort of the different times of the different leagues, yeah, yeah. and you could choose which league you want. I think it'd be really cool. That's a great idea. All right. Well, the last so, question is boobs. Last I want to see that, boobs. but what are your opinion, uh, opinions on boobs? We should, probably, boobs we should probably talk about the love, guild. Love Let's talk boobs. about the guild and wrap this up. Oh, okay. I, I I yield to Ian. Let's reverse this. What do you say? Okay. All so right. Ian, as our guild master, well, what's the state of Unicorn Pixie Dust and Machinima Realm on Kill Jade and US Horde side right now? Well, really, we've got a ton of people in the guild. Just my drink. We've got a ton of people in the guild, so we expanded already, which I don't know if you've heard about it. We've done to Unicorn Police Department. That's our guild number two, but that's specifically, specifically for level 30s and level 65 DK pluses. So anybody who wants to join that guild specifically, hopefully, we won't have to uh, be trolled by Ruinous anymore. I don't know. We'll see. And then Hondar is the GM of another unknown guild, and if you're 80, 85, he will come out and personally find you. And we have some special shout outs to people out there who've helped us. Uh, Rolk, Mothai for presenting the, uh, the bent, Rena, all these cool people who are playing with us. We're gonna have some fun doing some PvE and PvP. Can't wait. We'll see you in the top tier. So one, two, and three. Anybody can invite to all these guilds except for the top tier. So just message anybody by slash showing anybody. Yeah, and once again, so we know, uh, on Kill Jaden, I am playing Klator. I'm playing Handface. You can find Handface 2 and Handface Trace as well for the other guilds. And then Hundar is... Teenagers. Teenagers. So that's general chat for um, today, Wednesday, January 27th, I believe it is. Sixth. Sixth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! So cheers. 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 General chat. Thanks, everybody. Oh, my God. Oh, I want that cherry. Yeah. <laughs>